weather's nice and cool. It's not too hot. You nice sign up here. And there's even some food samples. This is the uh, Pan African village. Just outside the uh, Center of Progress building. There is a fire tower there. of the Central New York chapter of the National Railway Historical Society. Okay, so we're the at Central the New York chapter is just one of 130 such here? local yeah. chapters Water throughout the United uh, States and Canada dedicated to preservation of railroad history and artifacts. This exhibit is free and made possible 
by the generous donations of our Here's the uh, seats up inside the uh, caboose. Mm -hmm. There is some uh, UF wire that should be enclosed so it doesn't get hit by a lawnmower or a weed whacker. Be sure to check out our. Thank you for visiting our restored train display. The Central New York chapter of history and artifacts. This exhibit is free as you enter our train. You know, too. This switch looks like an original one. And that outlet looks like it's an original one. And that's the shower, the sink, and the toilet. And there's an original light fixture. There are some Romex that should be in uh, wire mold. There's some fuses there. Nice switches. And down here you have some mains. There is the writing. And there's a fuse in a rubber uh, socket there. There's a place to fill your cup of water. There's some more old wiring devices there. There's an older fuse box. Just pause it if you want to read the uh, specs. There's one of, looks like one of the old original ceiling fans. There's one of the old light sockets. There's a Frank Adams uh, breaker panel. And that uh, wire over here should be enclosed in either a MC cable or a PVC or a conduit of some kind. And there's some old switches up there at the top. We're going to walk down this aisle here. You can pause it to read it. So here is the uh, midway. I like this cow here. I like this Ferris wheel with all the flags on it of the country I'm born in. And there's the new Expo Center. Oh, this year they took the rink out. And food is in this building too. Remembering the uh, old days of the fair here. Wow, it looks like uh, some baby pigs.
lot more uh, food vendors. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. Lots of uh, jerseys and hats. Here's the plaque on the Coliseum. This is my mom's favorite part of the uh, fair is the horses. Round two of the Little Hunters, number 413, upon a star, shown by Jennifer Duncan. Boy, they got a lot of uh, signs and license plates here. You're done good, son. You're done good. Yep, thanks. <laughs> There goes a big airplane. It looks like a DC-10 because there's an engine on the back. It's in between the flags there. It's getting towards the New York State flag. It's right over top of the New York State flag. Well, there's a nice model of the fair. They should have a trial here in the fair in Chevy Court. Have the judge and the jury come in.
So it would be a fair trial, wouldn't it? Depends on who's on, who, who's being charged. Well, it, having it in the fair will make it a fair trial. Get it? Fair and fair? Uh-huh. He, he made it. He made it funny, Gene. Uh, I'll get it tomorrow. I don't know. What's I don't it There's the Chevy Court. There's the Chevy Court clock. Here's the plaque on the uh, Science and Technology Building. Alrighty, it's a good thing to stop the fraud and help save taxpayers money, isn't it? There's an indoor box outside. See the uh, water sitting on these can get down into the box and corrode the connections. You want weatherproof boxes outdoors. They have lost kid tags when you bring your kids. So the avionics look a lot the same as in an airplane. Doing good. <laughs> He's filming it for Judge Judy later, and that's why I killed him. Uh, let's do some fire jogging. You want to do some fire jogging? And I say, if you want to do some fire juggling, you want to watch me do some fire juggling, I do some fire juggling. It's very exciting when I do it because I'm not that good at it. So you might have that accident by half of you are here. Or, how are you doing, sir? You wearing sunglasses in the shade? Yeah. Uh, good for you. Uh, legalize it, don't criticize it. I don't judge, it's going to be legal soon enough. Uh, oh, I, well, look at this. It's like the sunglass section over here. <laughs> I do need a lighter, kids. No. Any smokers here? Arsonists? Boy Scouts? Anybody speak English? Really? Yeah, one person, thank you. Nobody has a lighter? Oh, this show is getting better by the second. <laughs> well, time for some more jokes. <laughs> Don't hear an Irish joke? Yeah? Irish men walked out of a bar. Oh, you got a lighter? Yeah, you look like you smoked something. You look like you just came back from vacation at King's Park. 
It's to acquire drugs is not only dangerous because of the extreme heat, but also of the fumes. <laughs> Excessive inhalation of the fumes, they showed in long-term studies, that you end up with speech impairment. In very rare cases, you end up talking with a German accent. I'm originally from Ohio. <laughs> oh, I'm in a good mood, let's do this. I just saved a bunch of money on car insurance. I didn't switch to Geico. I got my driver license revoked. You know what happened? I got a speeding ticket and I asked the officer, so what does that mean? And he said, it's like $180 and you get three points. And I said, what's up with the points? We don't have points in Germany. What does that mean? And he said, well, you collect them and once you get 13, they give you a bicycle. <laughs> you know what really happened, kids? I rolled down the window and I asked the officer, what's the problem? And he said, bear with me, and I panicked. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's, uh, it's dedicated to people who think, take things literally. Let's do it. Who's right over this? Oh, my cake pot lady. There we go. Let's do it. Can you catch it? Yeah, let's find out. He's filming it for the insurance claim, anyhow. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Oh, no. Oh, that's not bad. Want to step it up a little bit? <laughs> you want to? Uh, no, one day I just gonna do it. See what happens. <laughs> What's this stupid magic? Oh, shoot, that was stupid. How oh, that is? Yeah, nobody cares. That's why. No, no, you're sucking up right now. I don't need it. Let's warm up. I know I did that yesterday. I farted. I flew to Buffalo. <laughs> It's weird because Buffalo is this way, as you know. You are my Buffalo team, so are you from Buffalo? I got food in Buffalo. This is what I said at the Erie County Fair. I said, you know what Hamburg and Berlin, my hometown, have in common? Neither one of our towns ever won a major football championship. And they all booed me. It's like, I didn't, I didn't play. Let's do it. Let me testify it's real fire. Ouch. It is fire juggling. There it is. Here we go. Yay. I know fire jumping by itself isn't really that exciting, so let me enhance that experience by throwing in some sexy body motion. RVs on display. This is the uh, Indian village. There's Oneida, Onondaga, and there's Cayuga over there. I live in Onondaga County and uh, it's named after the Onondaga Indians. Uh, this girl has some frogs raising chickens. And there's some eggs in an incubator. And here's a boy that's going to 
Watch the eggs hatch here from the 4-H. And the fair has their own carpenter shop. Is that one your high horse? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of tractors here. This is a neat old one here. Here is a, a nice line of uh, John Deere tractors. Peace. So VVS is here at the State Fair. And they even have a simulator for the excavator. Here are some outdoor boxes the way that they should be. See the weatherproof covers and the weatherproof boxes and the sealed conduit. See how there's no open knockouts on these boxes and they're weatherproof with a plug. Here's another box. It looks like it's really done well and up to code. Weatherproof boxes and weatherproof covers. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching my uh, walk through of the whole great New York State Fair, and uh, peace. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Forever Leather is here at the fair this year. Mm -hmm. And the uh, fair just won't be the fair without a Hoffman hot dog.